Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of a movie, from editing to producing to directing? Here we are to talk exactly about this and how these factors form a movie. Mira Max and Hayden Films, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, starring Asa Butterfield and Jack Scanlon, was an adaptation of the 2008 book by John Boyne. It features an 8-year-old Bruno leaving Berlin and residing near a concentration camp, where he meets Schmuel after curiosity, solitude and sorrow. They develop a forbidden friendship, clueless to the horrific nature of the environment. The story keeps unfurling as the movie progresses and will keep the viewers on the edge of their seats from the get-go. We're talking about the various camera angles, shots, editing techniques, sounds and mise en scene. Camera angles. The angle of the camera shows the exact place where the video camera is positioned to take a shot. Low angle. This shot is taken when the camera is fixed under the character and fixed upwards. This makes the characters look taller. Example, the mother and sister coming downstairs. Eye level. The camera is set in a similar way as the eyes of the character and it makes the viewers take a look at the character's face. Example, Bruno looking around while leaving the house. Oblique angle. The oblique shot is done when the camera is tilted. This is the right way of showing any suspense or nervousness. Example Bruno running through the woods. High angle. This angle is taken when the camera is positioned at a high point and looking down at the characters. Example the boy is running at the beginning of the movie. Various shots. The various shots used in the movie are Extreme long shot. An extreme long shot is a shot from a long distance where people are shown in the frame as small dots. Example, Bruno looking at the chamber. Long shot. A long shot is a view from a long distance but not the same as the extreme long shot where the person is seen as small dots but a bit clear. Full shot. A full shot is a shot where the whole body of the characters reaches from top to bottom in the frame. The characters will be shown from head to toe. Example, when Bruno sees small. Medium shot. The medium shot shows the character from above the waist. It is used quite often. Most of the shots in the movie were medium shots. Close-up shot. A close-up shot is a shot of a person taken closely. It is one of the main shots and it is used regularly with both medium and long shots. Example, Bruno looking at the servant. Editing. Video editing is essential because it enables us to feel linked with the film by adding images and sounds and also gives us the excitement. Photos can be caught in the ideal shot when scenes are edited. It is one of the main works in the film industry. In this film, the editing has been great and has shown all the scenes in the correct way. Now, let's talk a bit about sound. Sound is the main part of a film and without sound and background music, a film feels empty and basically there's no fun and emotions related to it. Like this. Or this, which shows a serious part of the movie. Or this. Sound basically translates the movie and its emotions to the viewers. Moving straight towards mise-en-scene. Mise-en-scene are the props, costumes and lighting used in the movie. In this movie, the lighting was a bit dark. The movie has a grey hue to it which symbolizes the terrible and horrific nature of the movie. The clothes of the Jews have a dull undertone to it which tells us about their miserable and poor living conditions, while the clothes of the Germans are vibrant showing their supremacy. The world of the Germans is also portrayed as a lively one through colors like green, orange, brown, red, etc. While the the Jewish side is ported with dull colors like grey, pale, blue, etc. The color red is excessively used in the movie which relates to the swastika, the German regime and the blood of the Jews scattered by German killings. The movie is based in Germany, mainly focusing on a farm and the Jewish concentration camp. The use of barbed wires and other props like the football, rocks, bolt cutters and the overall backdrop of the concentration camp along with the misery of the people adds to the emotional effect of the movie. Also, the German soldiers wear proper uniforms, the general public wears normal and decent clothes, and the Jews are portrayed as wearing torn and ragged stripped jail clothes. Another piece of the puzzle is the boy in sci-fi jamas, which eventually produces an impression of who we are and of who we don't want to be. The movie received a 3 star rating according to the Rotten Tomatoes, a 7.8 IMDb rating and a 4 out of 5 common sense media rating. It perfectly portrays the horror of the Holocaust through an innocent's eyes. 